Hello viewers, welcome to another episode, question 16 of GCSC EduCell question paper. There are three red counters and five yellow counters in a bag. You takes at random three counters from the bag. We have to work out the probability that he takes exactly one uh, red counter. So he's picking three at random. Pick the first one, the second one, and the third one. In this case, we're not told that he bring them back or replace. So this is without replacement. The statement says pick out. So he pick, he didn't bring it back. So we have without replacement. Now, if you are picking them, the first one could be you might pick the red and pick yellow second or pick red third. You can even pick the first one to be red, second one to be red, and the third one to be red. But we can't be sure. Is probability is by chance, so this become a compound probability, in the sense that if I have the probability of picking the first one, the first one could be red, right? That's the first uh, pick. The second one could be yellow. Then the third one will also be yellow, or it could be red. But in this case, we are talking of one red counter, exactly one. So either the first one is red, the remaining two is going to be what? Yellow. So this probability, this and this and this. Or, we know or is addition. So the or will also come for, okay, let's see what this probability will be. The red counters, we have three, right? Out of the total counters in the box or the bag, is going to be the sum of the two colors, yellow and red. That will be eight times picking of yellow yellow is what five now after picking the red the total number of counters c is not with replacement will reduce to seven the total number after picking the red it will be left with two of the red then five of the yellow then for the third pick yellow is gone red is gone so Red reduce the total to be 7. If I pick yellow again, the total will reduce to 6. Then the total of yellow will also reduce to 4. So 4 divided by 6. That is the probability for picking exactly one red. Whereby the first is red, the remaining ones are what? Yellow. Then it could also be in the sense that the first pick was yellow. The second pick was red. And the third pick was what? Yellow. This is exactly one of the red. So this also means that 5 for yellow total times red remain the same. Total remains 7. I say we've taken one already. Then times yellow has been taken. So the price, the number of yellow will now reduce to 4. Then the total will still reduce to 6. So this is picking the first one to be red. Picking the second one to be red, there could be the instance of picking the third one to be red. So, probability of yellow, yellow, and red, first yellow will be 5 on 8, total reduced to 7. So, the second yellow will now be 4, total reduced to 6. We are going to pick red, and there are still 3 on the red in the box there. So, we can say that this. Is going to be the first probability or the second or the third. So all means addition. Let's see if we can simplify this further. We know uh, four can go here one, four can go here two, three can go here one, three can go here two. So I'll be having five divided by two times seven times two. That'll be twenty-eight. So this is going to be the first one will be. 20, okay, 5 over 28 plus the second one, let's see, go here 1, go here 2, 1, 2, the same, so 5, we still have 24, so 5 again, 28, okay, then here, I think it goes here 1, go here 2, go here 1, go here 2, we still have 5 on 28. 
So all of them, meaning the probability of exactly one red will now become the same denominators. So we add the numerators. 15 divided by 28. So the probability that uh, Jude will be picking three counters whereby he will pick exactly one red counter will be 15 divided by what? 28. I'm sure this is correct. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.